Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready to make this cloth. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do. This is my first time doing it like this way. So I wanna show you what I did. Two eight and a half by 11 sheets of cell paper. My image is already printed in reverse onto those sheets. And you see I have half of the image over here and half of the image over here. Now how I did that, so I put, I did open the image and then I just put a, um, a guide in the middle of the image and I went over the line a little bit. So this image over here is actually five and, um, five and three quarters. And I think this one is five and a half. So one of them I need to cut. So I think I'll do this one since I see this line here. So. One of them, I need to trim that white. So I'm just going to put the ruler there. And trim off the white. If I cut into the image, that'll be fine. I have more image than I need, so. this if you see there if you can see there's a little bit of white you don't want any of that light showing on that image so I have to make sure you get all of the white so I didn't get it all so I need to line up and cut one more time Anyway, so um, you want to look at your your elements on the paper. So you, I did, I, as I said, I took more. I did more. One image is bigger than the other one, so we could do the overlapping. And you want to make sure it lines up perfectly. And then I'll just take heat tape or I use masking tape, it don't matter, to tape the image down. Now I'm gonna misplace my scissors. I'll cut it with this. So I'm just taping it at the top to hold it in place. but we're going to see. to tape to the back. 
and mend that one to the back. Tape a piece, a middle piece, as as those ends are taped good. All oh, that looks good, it lines up fine. Now I'm just gonna um, preheat or pre press my cloth. Now I have to adjust the camera, so I have to stop it. Okay, so I got the camera readjusted. And now I'm about to press. I just do it a few seconds. Nothing major. Just to get it all flattened out. So just a few seconds. And then I let it cool down. I know I should lint roll, but I don't. So now I take the image. Let me see if I can get my scissors. going to trim this extra white off that's all I'm doing it on both sides just to give me an idea of where to place the image so I'm glad I trimmed it on both sides and now I'm just going to place it over the rag making sure the rag is covered top and bottom this printer it really doesn't do borderless printing so this is just like a, a eyeball type situation might not get it perfect, but we'll get it close. So, and let's see. Okay, I'm good. And I press. And we're gonna let that go for sixty. Seconds at 400. Then we'll see what we have. So I have another, I'm going to do the a sports image next. But I will be, like I said on another video, I will be looking for. A printer that I can print borderless because even though it tells you you could do um, borderless it's not true it still gives you a margin and that margin looks to be um, 0.25 or something like that the ores may be smaller than that but I want true borderless Guys, 
see it's not perfect but it works I hope this helps guys and the pink kind of overshadows the white and the, the what it looks like on the computer and as you see this is not Louis it is something I made so yeah there's um these are DPs on here it just stands for what it says on the um towel on the um cloth so that's it guys because it was because of the paper I think otherwise that come out pretty good all right guys 